WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, update, and currently we have a sea of red. That's right, a sea of red. The Dow's off 50 points. That's about uh, two tenths per cent, less than that. Eight tenths for the S&P. That's 31 points. One and six tenths for the Nasdaq 100. 190 points there. One and nine tenths or one and eight tenths for the Russell. That's 34 points. The semis are down 4 percent. That's off 111. Trendy's down 2% or 306 points out there. Gold is up 6 bucks. She's trading at 1783. Silver up 18 pennies. 2170 is the print there. Lights we crude back a dollar 90. Trading out at 8436. Natural gas off 14 pennies. Trading at 625. And the 30 year treasury's up nearly 1 point. 125.16 is the uh, print out there. Let's take a look at our nine panel market update chart. Up in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the ES Mini. You'll see two different A to B equals CD patterns out here. One's a small one, one's a larger one. The small one, uh, if we get a bearish reversal candle today, and there's a possibility that we would get a bearish sash candle, just depends on where the uh, price where price closes out there. But even if we do, there is a new profile that the ES Mini is attempting to form. Now, we won't have confirmation on this until this evening at 6.01, but right now we use the data that we have available to us, and support is between 39.25 and 39.57, and resistance up at the 40.19 level. Spot volatility still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is a bullish directional signal for the S&P 500. The NQ also attempting to form a new profile. Now, the top of that profile is right where the top of the weekly profile is at. The daily now is at 11,982. The top of the weekly, 11,986. So that's a strong resistance level. Again, this profile will not be confirmed until this evening. Support is down at the 11,571 area. The U.S. dollar index yesterday generated a Gartley buy pattern. It did that because it completed about a 1 to 1.272 A to B equals C, a little bit more than that. But the reason why it completed was because it formed a bullish hammer candle. Now, if price closes below 105.15 out there, you know the expression, if you're long, you're wrong. And that's when you close below the bottom of a hammer candle. So U.S. dollar index should continue, should move higher out there. Uh, gold is uh, finding a resistance, uh, trying to take on the resistance, I should say, at 1779, the top of its weekly profile. Silver formed a sell the D point pattern yesterday with its bearish engulfing candle. Uh, it too is attempting to form a new profile support there. 2031 resistance at 2208. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show, but if you're off to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.